Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nikki and I'm here with Julian Life. And Julian lives here in nature in Ojai. <laughs> and he's for this time being. <laughs> I move around a lot. Right. Right currently. now I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I met him and thought he was a really cool guy. He's a wizard in the kitchen. He cooks raw, vegan, delicious, delicious foods. And I've been lucky enough to sample some of his tea concoctions and smoothie concoctions and salad concoctions. And yesterday we were having a conversation um, about our intentions, why we're here on this planet, why we're here to serve, what inspires us. And Julian mentioned something to me about he is really inspired to decrease stress on the central nervous system through food. And this is a problem that creates dis-ease in the body, resulting in disease. And I wanted to ask him about that and maybe talk about some of the top foods that you'd recommend to really help decrease stress on the central nervous system. Okay. Um, let's see. This is obviously can be a very extensive conversation because of how, you know, stress is a important thing in all of our lives. It plays a healthy role and it also plays an unhealthy role. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you don't have any challenges in your life, um, it gets kind of apathetic. You kind of just dissolve and just like nothing really happens. Just kind of like lose a big part of life. But having said that, you want to make sure that you're properly prepared to handle stresses that you want to handle, that you want to address, like your things in the world that you want to, get. you want to go skydiving? All right, but like, what do you do to prepare yourself to do that? Mm. And um, so it is a, a protocol of preparedness and um, that comes from understanding and that's, you know, that's why we have talks like this so we can uh, share what we know, you guys can share what you know through comments and stuff like that. And yes. it's about developing mm -hmm. that conversation. Um, so herbs and foods that would be good for stress, number one, number one, like so far number one is going to be green leaves. Okay. Green leaves is the biggest missing link in people's diets and when you add it in it then becomes a livid instead of a diet because diet is like, you know, dwindling. Livid is increasing and that's really where you want to sit. And the reason for greens being the number one for adding, uh, re reducing stress or adding relaxation into your system is because they're the most alkaline um, food that you're going to add into your, into your living. And that's because they're so high in chlorophyll basically. And chlorophyll is going to give you fresh blood, which is going to help oxygenate your system. Mm -hmm. And it's also going to um, provide high amounts of magnesium and such, which is an alkaline mineral. So these things together, oxygenating your system, mm -hmm. providing fresh red blood for your system, um, which is obviously important we all are we on the same do you think that we need <laughs> red blood cells is that are we on the same page do we have to go to that stage so it's so it's important mm -hmm. um right. another thing i'd like to add in um would be something like people who ha have gone to like uh alcohol for uh stress release and stuff like that mm -hmm. it's understandable and there are some health benefits for all those things i'm not i'm not a doctor and i don't try to promote like in that approach i more try to like inspire people about when what, you say that you mean um how alcohol can be it can yeah it can mm -hmm. be now don't misunderstand what i'm saying the part though is that there's always something better and what's better than that would probably be something like kava mm -hmm. um I would start with like the alkaline greens and adding that as a salad every day, a healthy salad. But if you want like a calming, um, relaxing beverage, I would, I would go to like something like kava, mm -hmm. which is like a very traditional relaxing. You get the benefits, um, all the benefits of alcohol. That's a tea, right? Of relaxing it's your a system. Wine tea. It's a root. And uh -huh. it can be brewed as a tea, and a lot of mm -hmm. times they just take the root and they grind it down. Yeah, I had some in Hawaii actually, yeah. and, it, and it actually made me feel really relaxed and probably a little altered too, like as if yeah. I was drinking alcohol. Um, and just to add to what Julian was saying, alcohol I do not recommend, just clarifying, though some studies show it does help to increase the good cholesterol in the body, especially let's say with red wine where there's other antioxidant benefits. There's other things like exercise that can help to increase the, the good cholesterol in your body. And 
really we don't want to be putting something in our body like alcohol which is a neurotoxin which actually kills our um, brain cells and also wreaks havoc on the central nervous system so i would say like julian said mm -hmm. opt for the healthier mm -hmm. options when it comes to making healthier choices and that's what this is all about it's about mm -hmm. finding what the next best thing is for, mm -hmm. for you and if you're at this conversation you're probably at that level where you were like, what is the next best thing for this or this or this area mm -hmm. in my life? Right. And so, you know, adding in something like kava, the greens, fresh juices, and basically anything that's going to alkalize and hydrate your body. Because it is, it does actually further then get reduced down to, to hydration. So can people purchase kava in like tea bags or does it come as a powder for me? To All of the above. Okay. So yeah. I, I'll send a, a link along with this discussing yeah. kava and maybe use that as a superfood post for this coming week? I don't know if I'd consider it a superfood. The superfoods are really like mm -hmm. daily good food nutritives, mm -hmm. but it can, ha it has its place, and it's definitely mm -hmm. something I would, would give it a shot and try it out. If you haven't tried yet, it could be something fun to try out. It's a great social drink. Mm -hmm. It's traditionally used as a social drink. You have a you know a bunch of people around, just you know sip okay. some kava, kind of relaxes and opens you up a little bit. Great, so. wonderful. Yeah. I'm gonna try some kava. Yeah, maybe we <laughs> should try some kava. Let's have kava. Have a party. <laughs> well, thank you, Julian. My pleasure. Please leave your comments and questions in the box below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And Julian, please give us if anyone would like to reach you with yeah, your website. Yeah, of course. And... Yeah, uh, my website is brightlymedia.com. That's B-R-I-G-H-T-L-Y media.com, and I teach people about living foods, gardening, and uh, health, healthy lifestyles over there. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Julian. Thank and you, thank guys. Thank you for joining us today. See you soon. Bye.